Most known for challenging kids on the basketball court, Syracuse police officer Brandon Hanks is taking his department to court, formally filing a discrimination lawsuit today. He said he was going to do it, and now he has. News Channel Lines and Adrian Smith listened to Hanks and his attorneys speak out about the claims and tell us what Syracuse police have to say about the suit. Standing on the front steps of City Hall in between his attorneys, Officer Brandon Hanks powerfully speaking out about his claims filed in the lawsuit against the Syracuse Police Department. Sometimes as police officers, we get this pride or this chip on our shoulder that we do no wrong or we make no mistakes. Well, that stops today, okay? Yeah. Us as police officers make mistakes as well. The lawsuit include both federal and state complaints citing Title VII violations of race, discrimination, harassment, retaliation, and a hostile work environment, plus libel, slander, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Among the 13 defendants, Police Chief Kenton Buckner, Captain Timothy Gay, Deputy Chief Joe Cecil, and Deputy Chief Richard Trudell. Chief Trudell must go. What do these people want? Chief Trudell must go. What do you want? Chief Trudell must go. What do you want? Chief Trudell must go. Hanks, his lawyers, and community members are calling on Trudell to leave the department after admitting to racist claims in a 2014 deposition. However, Deputy Trudell responding to the suit, saying he's never made any racist remarks toward or about Officer Hanks, saying in part, during my 27 years as a police officer, there has never been a claim or allegation against me of a racist nature. The statements in a press conference by attorneys representing Officer Brandon Hanks are a travesty. I am ashamed to have used certain language as a young teenager. It never occurred as an adult. Never has anyone in the community or the Syracuse Police Department accused me of using such terms. So the citizens of Syracuse have a choice. You can follow. Officer Hanks and have the police officers respect the Constitution that says we that all men and women are created equal right, or you can follow Trudell. Now in his statement, Deputy, Deputy Chief Trudell went on to say he has and still supports Officer Hanks opportunity to serve a 30 day rotation in the department's gang violence task force. But Hanks and his attorneys both say the opportunity is only on the table now because of